What's up guys, Shane Stars with DroidForums.net, you know me better as DroidModder X. Today I'm coming back at you with another LG G4 quick tip. This time we're going to take a look at the navbar button. So as you guys can see, mine are already customized. Normally out of the box, you've got the home button in the middle, the back button on the left, and the recents button on the right. Being that I'm coming from a Samsung device, I'm used to these two buttons being flipped. So that's kind of what I did there. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Basically, you're just going to open up the app drawer, go to your settings, go to display, and then go to home touch buttons. Go to button combination. Here you can actually add more buttons. Uh, so you would just take and drag your button up top. Drag it back down. You can rearrange the buttons like so. So the buttons here that are included are the notification, Q Memo Plus, Q Slide, Dual Window, uh, the recents, of course, uh, you can have the home button and the back button, and you can have up to five at one time. So I didn't really see an option for custom applications, like if you wanted to add a Twitter button or a YouTube button, like we've seen in other ROMs. Uh, like I remember back in the AOKP days, we had that option. Uh, it's pretty cool that we do have this amount of customization in a stock ROM. I really like the fact that we're not having to root our phone just to get this kind of customization. It's kind of a no-brainer just to add that for guys like us that like to change things on our phone. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidforums.net. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the forums.